Benjamin. Why do you swim with pieces of wood attached to your wrists? I had hoped I might swim faster with them. Did you make them yourself? I did, yes. How interesting. And do they work? Yes, but they tire my wrists, so I shall work to improve their design. Live and learn, I say. You're awfully clever, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin, one of America's founding fathers, co-writer of the United States Constitution, one of the most celebrated Americans the country has ever seen, and a master inventor as well. Besides the wooden swim fins he invented when he was just 11 years old, Benjamin Franklin also invented a wood-burning stove, a glass instrument, the lightning rod, and a new type of eyeglasses called bifocals. Franklin's inventions improved the lives of people around the world. One invention in particular saved countless lives. How did he do it? How did one person come up with the ideas for so many useful inventions? To find out, let's go back to the 18th century, when Benjamin Franklin was 40 years old. 1746. The 13 American colonies are in the iron grip of King George II of England. It will be years before people hear about the Boston Tea Party, Paul Revere's Midnight Ride, or a Revolutionary War general by the name of George Washington. But they have heard of Benjamin Franklin. Born into the family of a soap and candle maker, Franklin didn't have much as a child. But he became one of America's most famous and successful citizens with his passion, knowledge, and unstoppable drive. One might say that Benjamin Franklin never met a problem he didn't want to solve. And in 1746, that problem was lightning. He observed that when lightning struck, it not only caused fires, but it could surge through buildings, causing great injury and even death to the people inside. Franklin became fascinated by experiments that other scientists were doing with lightning and electricity. He decided to conduct experiments of his own, including one of the most famous experiments in all of history. He attached a metal wire and a key to a kite and flew it into a thunderstorm proving once and for all that lightning is actually a form of electricity. Franklin then came up with the idea for an invention called a lightning rod. This pointed metal rod was attached to the top of a building with a wire running down the outside of the building to another pointed rod buried in the ground. When a building was struck by lightning, the wire would safely carry the electricity from the lightning into the ground thus protecting the building and the people inside it. As Franklin himself wrote, May not this be of use to mankind in preserving houses, churches, ships, etc., from the stroke of lightning? Franklin never stopped inventing, even 40 years later at the age of 78. As he got older, his eyesight had gotten worse, and so he discovered another problem to solve. He found that he needed to keep switching back and forth between eyeglasses that helped him see far away and eyeglasses that helped him see close enough to read. Oh, I can take it no longer. This infernal switching shall drive me mad. So what did he do? He improved upon the work of inventors before him by sawing the lenses of both eyeglasses in half and attaching one to the top of the other. To see distant objects, he would look up through the top half of the lens. To see things close up, he would look down through the bottom half. Referring to his bifocals as double spectacles, Franklin wrote to his friend that he was happy in the invention of double spectacles, which serving for distant objects as well as near ones make my eyes as useful to me as ever they were. Such was Franklin's ingenuity, his ability to create solutions to real, everyday problems, that modern forms of swim fins and bifocals are widely in use today. And lightning rods continue to save lives all around the world. Did Franklin ever profit from any of his inventions? Not at all. He gave the plans for his inventions away, or free. As Franklin wrote, 
we should be glad of an opportunity to serve others by any invention of ours, and this we should do freely and generously. This was Benjamin Franklin and why he is still considered to be one of America's greatest inventors.